Okay, so I want to talk about a couple other strategies for the pond. So a couple ways that you can do this. Um, and I talk about this a lot in my new agent class when we talk about phone scripts, but um, two ways to do this is to organize or gamify or a mix of both. So you can do this by time, you can do this by source, you can do this by purpose, you can do this by a mix of things. And so what I mean by this is if you're going to do some cold calling, you're going to jump into the pond. A great way to decide how long you should do it or to segment that is, is to pick a time. So what I mean by that is I'm going to call in the pond from nine to nine 30, or I'm going to do my prospect. I'm going to call all of these open house leads from three 30 to four, right? I have a specific time. And then as many as I get through on that time, I'm done. And so the reason this is helpful is if you have a start and an end time, it's not just like, well, I'm just going to call and see what happens. And, and then you get frustrated because maybe it doesn't work out and you give up. So giving yourself like a boundary for how long to do this is a great way to just say, okay, I've put my time in. So it'll give you an opportunity to have a boundary, right? For yourself. So that way, Hey, if I've made my half an hour, I've made my hour of calls, cool, I'm done. And I can move on, which is also helpful mentally. Cause it sucks to just make calls and be like, well, I just didn't get anyone. I'm going to give up now. So give yourself a boundary for time for when you want to do this. Maybe it's a day of the week. Maybe it's a specific time. Maybe it's both, but I find that's very helpful. The other way you can do this is by source. So you can say, I'm going to sit down and I'm going to call through all of my open house leads that I've had in the past couple months. I'm going to look at the source. I'm going to look at where they came from. I'm going to have a conversation. I'm going to try to call all of those people. Or I'm going to go ahead and reach out to all the people in my sphere from church about how they're doing, right? That's less cold calling, but either way, if you're doing cold calling or you're doing any sort of prospecting, categorizing this can help because you get in flow, right? Now you're saying the same things over and over again. You're not calling a sphere lead, and now you're going to call a team lead that somebody else set you up with. You're saying the same thing over and over again, which gets you in that nice smooth flow state, which you want on the phone. Kind of ties into purpose, right? Maybe you're just doing all of your all of your hots at once. Maybe Tuesday is the day that you call through all your hot leads, right? Or maybe that's your day in the pond. Hey, I'm just calling to try to get new clients. So if you have some way to kind of organize your purpose of doing this, it makes it a little easier. And then you get into that nice flow state because you're saying the same thing over and over again. So my favorite way to do this is to combine both of these and say, okay, on Tuesday, I'm going to call I'm going to call through pond leads from 8 a.m. to 9. And that's going to be my calling time. And I'm going to do that every Tuesday. Or I'm going to do that Tuesdays and Thursdays or Saturday afternoon, whatever works out for you. But um, having some sort of organization helps it be a lot more effective.